And we back. <laughs> and we back. And we back. Girl, I need a haircut and a hair color. I think I'm going blue next, girl. Uh, what's going on? Hi, Sip Nation. My apologies. Um, I was I was special guest wanted to inform me of some of the th- ramifications of this. Um, she's uh a little trepidatious about um some of the how this how this all unfolded. You heard me. So, um, like I said before, uh, we're gonna keep it cute for this young lady, and she tells us her story. Um, I'm going to turn the comments off, um, and I I want y'all to have an open mind and understand it because listen, as y'all know, me personally, I have done stuff that I ain't proud of, and pretty much everybody in here has also done stuff that they're not necessarily proud of as well. So, we're gonna keep an open mind to that. We're not gonna judge her. We're not going to pass judgment on nobody on what they did. We all was young. And so that's what we're not going to do. We're going to keep an open mind. Now, this story unfolded, um, as y'all know, in the past co- in, the, in the past couple of days. It was initially broke by uh, the blogger Milago, Milagro. Excuse me. I want to say, her, I, I want to say, okay, her name is Millie. But I want to say Milagro because I want, it's so sexy why it sounds. But, okay, so it, it was broke by Millie and it, it involved, as y'all know, uh, Lou, who is super snap, fiance, ex, baby daddy, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, sis, it was, sis has, she, she has, we have agreed to not show her face. But like I said before, we're not going to judge her. We're going to keep it cute, cute and copacetic and let her tell her story. We're going to walk through it, take our time, our patient stuff, go get you a little something to sip, y'all. And y'all listen to her tell her side of the story from A to Z and understand what was going on in the situation. And just let her talk without, you know, so much. Because a lot of this is a little overwhelming to sis. And so we want to definitely break this down and let her have a conduit that she could talk and explain what she did, why she did it, if she, you know, whatever, whatever, and on her turn. You feel me? All right. What's going on, fam? What's going on, daughter? I'm trying to find her first. Hold on. I be, cause you know, I don't know how to work this Instagram stuff, girl. I be going, girl. <laughs> I, you know, I'm girl. You know, you know, girl. I'm old school, sister. I'm old girl. Girl, y'all see a few little gray specks in there, girl. Here in there, girl. I don't know what to do, sister. So this is her. Can y'all hear her? I can hear. Let me see. Can y'all hear her and me? That's all I want to know. And I'm going to turn the comments off. And there we go. Hello. Yeah. There you go. How you doing today? What's going on? I'm MC Shady. I'm a New Orleans based uh MC and vlogger. As you know, I've talked to you earlier today, so I got a chance to hear you. You sound like a very, very intelligent young lady. Um, so the the you have been in the headlines, at least down here, and baby the shade room and everything in the past couple of days, a lot of people have been talking about a story in which you have found yourself in the midst of. Um, and so this is an opportunity for you to tell exactly what it is from your point of view and your perspective about everything that has happened. We understand that you don't want to show your face and that's your option. So if I want to begin, I just want to make sure that I got a few things correctly. You are from the great state of Ohio, correct? Yes. Shout out, shout out to what you a Buckeye or, or, or. Nice. Oh, well, nice. Nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. And so um, I do understand you are employed, you go to work, you are a young lady, just kind of getting yourself together in life. What is it, let me ask you this about you, um, and you, as far as aspirations, what is it that you, what is it that you, I know that the page that you're on says something about hair, but is that something that you're getting into in life, or what is it that you see for yourself? In life? Yes, I want to be a cosmetologist. That's a great and honorable profession, it's a good profession, and it's something that sister that's never going to go out of style, so that's a smart thing. Um, and in talking to you, uh, you let me into a little bit about the story. So let me ask you this. How, and, and we'll start it from the very, very beginning. How did you ever even know that the person Lou existed being in Ohio? How did you even know he was alive, to per se? How did you first see him ever in your, that you could remember? Honestly, like I told him, I came across his Explore page. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so you saw him on the Explore page. And what was your thoughts about him when you first, when you very first saw him? What was your thoughts when you, like, he came on his full page probably because of, uh, I don't even know why, but he probably came on because of his involvement with uh, Super Sam. What was your thoughts about him when you first saw him? 
I thought he was handsome. That's all right. Okay. So did you, so at that time, did you make a decision? Did y'all see me or no? Like, we can't see nothing but a black screen, sweetheart. <laughs> That's all we can see. <laughs> We 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 don't see that but a black screen. It's I, I'm very familiar with talking to black screens. So um, <laughs> but uh, so we um, so your son thought it was cute. So what you did slide into the DMs or how did you first or uh, did he make who made so you made first contact with him or how did that go? Yeah, I made the first contact with him. All right, so just um, to clarify, you made it off of this page or you made it off of this page. page. Gotcha. Go ahead. This page, I I contact him from this page. I left him a message, and then I left him a video. Okay, and he responded accordingly. Yeah, no, no, not just like that. No, not okay. just like that. Okay. So, what was his response to what you sent him initially? What did I send him? No, I said, what was his response to that? Like when you first sent, you sent him a message, you sent him a video. What was his response? Um, when I talked to him on the phone, he said his response besides the DMs, he didn't say that in the DMs. He said he, he looked at my, he saw my message okay, and he wasn't for sure if he wanted to respond to my message. You know how when you leave somebody a message or whatever, it's just, yeah. it don't go straight to your main, especially, yeah, if right, that person right. ain't following you. Gotcha. Gotcha. And so, all right. So how did it come about? that y'all got on the phone if he didn't even re like initially respond to the message. How did it come about that he got your number and or called you or you called him? How did that go? I called him through Instagram, but he never picked up. Okay. And so, then after I sent him that video, that's when he wrote me back. Okay. He asked me how old I was. I'm not, I can't check my DMs right now because I'm on the phone with you or maybe is it possible? Can I? <laughs> if you got another if phone. I can't. I can't. If you not had another phone, you could, but we've seen a mm -hmm. lot of it. So we just, this ain't, this ain't the time. We just listening to your story. It has not, you don't got to prove nothing. You just telling us you would, from your side of the story, what you feel like what was happening at the time. So, so it's not like, if you want to, at the end of the day, you can go post whatever you need to post as far as reference, like reaffirming of that. But right here, this is a very just sit down type thing. And you just telling us, girl, what happened? You ain't got to go and try to go prove this and that. Not right now. We just trying to see, we just trying to see what happened from your side of the story. So y'all had an open communication. Y'all developed a friendship through the, the through the yeah. Instagram and through the phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did he? Yeah. So, so how did you know about his about his fiance or baby my, my mama or whatever? How did you did you ever learn about her or did she ever come? Yeah, I learned about her after I was like looking all on his page and stuff like that. He, uh, um, I used to ask questions about her. Like, do you do you really think she's cute? <laughs> he'd say yeah i say honestly but he'd be like so hesitant to like really say like hell yeah sister you all right <laughs> you you all right with me you all right with me because i don't actually say i'm not trying to throw no shade or anything i, I i'm oh, not that's... i just want i just wanted to know no sister shade is all right over here we like shade that was good i like that because I would like to know, do he really think she cute too? I really want to know that. I would love you ask him the same question. If I ever sat in front of him, I would ask, do you really think she's cute? <laughs> but anyway, so sister, you all right with you all right with us so far. We love darling. You all right with us. You ain't got to say you really ain't got to say no more. But look, so, okay, let's do this. Okay, so y'all developed a little friendship. So you did know he had some dealings with her to some degree. You knew that. Yes. Okay. So but but what? he's always tell me that no, that they was like broken up. Okay. They they split up. Or, no, <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I knew about her. I just knew. Yeah, I knew about her. Yeah, obviously. What was his response when you when when you when you seen her on the screen? screen like if y'all break out so you never thought to say okay well y'all broke up why is you why is she even there what you there for why are you there if y'all broken up did you ever ask him that or did he ever explain that to you as far as why he was there if they're broken they up? live in arrangement as far as like they want to be like in the same household together why would they want to do that uh for their daughter or oh, whatever yeah. okay yeah okay that's all right i mean so there was just a, so it was just basically an arrangement for the child is there any point in time that he give you any indication that he was doing anything with her as far as for social media or for their business or for any type of sales or anything like that? Did, was he ever 
Did that ever come up or was no or no? Like what you mean by that? Like, like okay. Um the arrangement for the daughter, you know, because it, it's it just kinda seemed to me, me personally, that okay, being there for you know, I had you know, you don't have to live there for the child, but I mean it's better if you do I understand that. But is it is but a lot of people we have gotten reports of that a lot of the things that she does, she does it for Social media. Social media, yeah. She, she forces him to do, okay, well, you, like, for example, he, she might say, oh, I'm going to this. And she, he'll, he'll be like, I don't want to go to that. And she'll be like, well, they, they pretend basically to be together for, like, social media, but they really wasn't together. Okay. So that's what he, okay. And, like, okay. and so you felt it was okay to talk to him because, of course, he's letting you know that, you know, this is just, what you see is not what it really, what it really is. <laughs> It's either right. a lifting of reins for the daughter or for the media or for whatever it is. But you are, but so you felt like, okay, cool. So in the course of y'all friendship, and we've seen some of the DMs, we've seen some of the messages back and forth, we've seen some of the FaceTime. How did it get to a level of that there was the, 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 the pictures and the videos and stuff like that? How did that get to a level of being shared between you and him? I never share, I never... Okay, I did. I shared it with my friends. Okay. Because I got into an altercation with him. Like, I got into an argument with him. Not a... Like, whatever. Yeah, like, was and what then I was, was, like, all in my feelings. What y'all was supposed to <laughs> Just after, Because just, I wanted him to come back here. Okay. Like, I wanted to him to come... So, allow me to back up just a little bit. So, he came, he came to Ohio to see you. Yes. Okay. And how long do you stay? A day, two days, three days, a week? Well, how... No, not definitely not a week. Two. Okay. Okay. A couple of days. So he came there for a couple of days. And um, so how was that like when you met him? Was that like, how did you, how did you feel about him? Did you still, you still thought he was cute in person? Oh my God. Why did people <laughs> ask me that? Yeah. Girl, girl. <laughs> I, you know, I'm just I mean, <laughs> it's just one thing I don't like. I don't like like the darkness. I mean, the darkness of his lips. That's about it. Because you know, he smoked a lot. Right, right. Well, you know, maybe you could help him with that. Stop him, stop him smoking. So y'all, <laughs> so, so why y'all was, so why he was up there and y'all was chilling? Y'all was, did y'all chill? Did y'all go out? Did y'all hang? Did he stay? Did he stay with you, or did he stay like at a hotel, or like did y'all? What did y'all? How did y'all? How was that like? What was that experience like? Oh, can we? I want to. I just. I want to take them back so I can let them know the truth that I told you on the phone. That's what I want to take them back to. Let's take it back. Can we go good. there or no? And then yes, we can just go anywhere else with the story. Go ahead where you want to go. I'm riding with you. Let's go. I'm in Ohio with you. <laughs> Me in Ohio today, baby. Okay, I baited him in with a, a fake video. Okay. And I don't know. Like, I baited him in with a fake video or whatever. Okay. The, when you say fake video, is it a video of... It's not a video of you, obviously. It's a video. It's a video of, of a person that I know, but I don't. Gotcha. That person don't want no involvement, and I'm not. I'm not friends with that person, but okay. my my sister is friends with that person. So, but it's just like it's it's really really messy. Like I told you on the phone, like it's like oh my god, like a freaking story. Like I don't even know. It's the younger days the of our lives or something like that. Or it's, your, no, it's, it's, it's like the younger the rest is you got the you got Victor Newman who is me, <laughs> you got Jack who is, who is me. <laughs> <laughs> you got you know you got you got you got uh Jill and all Miss Miss Chancellor's Judy, but that's a whole nother thing for a whole nother day. But let's okay, check it out. okay, 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 okay. So, so okay. once so, I told him in the DM that I have something I want to tell you, but I don't want to tell you over the thing. It's two things I wanted to tell him. It's two okay. things I want I want to show him and tell him. Okay. What are those things? One is being I don't I don't know if I want to say that on live, but um what you want to say? Say it, girl. So you all right. <laughs> I want to see the comments now because I feel like they roasting me or something. They can't roast know. you because they can't type nothing. They can't. <laughs> it's nobody's roasting you because they can't say. They can't. They might be doing something in their head, but you know, you don't, we don't worry about what people think over here. Now, what you was gonna say? What you two things? Let us know. We're dying to know. So. 
You are right with us. <laughs> girl, you're shady, girl. We love that over here. Let me say something about Stiff Nation. You are right with us. They ain't real still. You, you said the magic word. You said okay. something. We all been angry. So you good with us. We on your side. I wanted to, I, I mean, I wanted to let him know my true identity because I'm just as cute as that person on the video. And I knew he wasn't going to have no problem by seeing her. I know once you see me, it's going to be okay. But I just thought it was the other thing that I was going to tell him that was going to be a problem. And I was drinking with my friends that night and I was like so fucked up. Like I was like drinking and everybody like, Oh no. But anyways, yeah, I said that, but um, what's the other thing? So one thing you want to tell him, man, this, you know, I'm cuter than I'm cute as huh? And I, that cute. was the wrong And what's the other thing? That I'm 17. Okay. You're 17. Like. What's your sign? I'm a stage. <laughs> so um all right. So you told him that on the you told him that on the FaceTime or you told him that on the you said the, on the DM? No, I told him to um Okay, I'm I'm freaking out now because I feel like <laughs> So if you need to take a time, okay. take your break. Take, take your time. We, we lay back. We chilling. I'm out here in the country. We chilling. Take your time. Take, take your little break. Okay. He um, he called because I obviously gave him his, I mean, my number because he didn't want to give me his number at first. And I told him, don't call me private. Okay. So when he called me, it was just a regular call. After I told him that I'm not that girl on the picture, I mean, the pictures or the video, he was like, Okay. Okay. But I feel like I'm so similar to her. It's just like, what would be the problem? What would be the problem? But the only problem that, um, when I told, okay, when I told him I'm not that person or whatever, he wanted to FaceTime me. And then I had something else to tell him. Okay. Which, that I was 17. And that, when I told him that I, um, when he wanted to see me, like when I told him I'm not that person, he wanted to see me, so I FaceTimed him. But I, like I told you, I still had to tell him that I was 17. Right. He stayed, I mean, I told him I was 17, but I eat, like, I kept saying, like, I don't know, I was drunk that night, so. So did he believe I told you? him how oh, I told him. Oh, what, was, what was his response? What was his response? He, he was just really shocked. He was like really shocked, but at the same time, he never hung up. Mm -hmm. He he never hung up. No, He's... I'm looking. Um, yeah, he never hung up. <laughs> he was just quiet for like mm, maybe about like two minutes. He was all quiet right. for like two minutes, and I was doing all the talking because I when I'm. Like, I was just, like, so freaking wasted away. Like, he didn't. I won't say. He didn't have a problem. Let me just put it like that. I won't say he didn't. I don't know. I don't want people to think like he's like, well, I don't know. People don't think whatever. They, I don't know. People going to think what they want. People going to think what they want. But, okay, so let's make something clear. I did the research in Louisiana for certain. I'm 100% certain of this. The age of consent is 17, meaning that somebody, as long as they're not coerced or anything, can legally, legally speak, we're only speaking legals now, that they can have anything. They could talk to whoever they want and be in with whoever they want at the age of 17 in this state. So that's the age of legal, the age of legal consent in this state. So at this point, we're not talking about anything criminal. We're just saying that if you know, that's the, the case. So you 17, are you a, but you're an independent 17 as well, from what I understand, correct? Like you work, I, you do your, you kind of Yeah, do your, I work. Yeah. I have my okay. own car. I stay right. in a gated community. I stay with my parents, yes I do. Mm -hmm, but right. they probably gonna come at me sideways, but whatever. Right. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, that's parents' job. As a parent, I understand that. So let me ask you this. Okay, so, so y'all continue to talk. He came seeing you. Yada, yada, yada. Y'all developed the so that's I when, still talk to him. I talked to him yesterday. It's not a problem. It's just that it's just it's just that person is making a big issue out of it. Then she, she reaching out to it's just 
So let's let me ask you this: How did your friends get so? Because eventually your friends got involved. It got to the blog, the blogs all across the world have, have taken this, have taken this story and ran with it. I mean, everybody from the the, the shade room, the neighborhood talk out of side on. I mean, everybody. You he, know, he basically got scared and blocked me because I kept asking questions about that person. You talk about super. What was that yeah. Name? And I just kept asking her. We call like, a stupid. We call a stupid penny over here. You know, she call a super cent, but we call a stupid penny over here. So <laughs> you, you can say super stupid. You can say her name. It's not too cool. She's not nobody important like that. She can't do nothing to your sister. You good? Well, she might say she could, and she might threaten you. Because while well, I understand, she did threaten you, correct? Yeah. Uh, but listen, okay, I got mad at him because he. I don't know what the fuck. Like it's just like. I don't know. I'm going to just let you talk. So I just... <laughs> I, I, I ain't got nothing to say. I don't know what this is. <laughs> you can let me, if you let me talk, I'm going to start talking about this ugly bitch that I don't like. I don't like the trailer park build bitch. But at the same time, the bitch look like she's come from the bone yard somewhere if you ask me. I don't care how many surgeries she get on her body or nose. I don't like her. Never did. And if you're over here for her, this ain't your spot. We don't like her over here. We never did. We never will. That is what it is. So if you let me talk, so I'm going to just go ahead and start dragging for the whole like I want to do. A long time ago, anyway. <laughs> we having a good conversation. If you don't want him just to go crazy, I know you said don't go psycho, but I'm you know, if you give me the flow, I'm gonna go psycho on that mailbox bill, bitch. I swear to God. So let this little bitch know, sister. I'm gonna go psycho on that. I don't like her. But, and I don't like her threatening people, too. That's another thing she do that she got banned. Somebody needs to bop the viral coins out of her for threatening people because that shit ain't cute. Because he do this and he'll do that. Whatever it is, just to try to trap that man in some type of prison that got him in, and then right. maybe he wouldn't be right here doing this and doing that. Well, you wouldn't have to go committing felonies against people. But at the same time, that's a whole other story for a whole other day. We talk about you and what it is and what's going on. So, okay. So, you, so how did it get? My question is, how did, so, how, so you, y'all got a little, y'all got I a little. I was talking spec. to him on the phone. Right. And, uh, and I'm talking to him or whatever. Um, it's stupid. Like, it was really stupid. I was talking to him on the phone. I guess she must have came in or whatever. And um, he like, I'm gonna call you back. I was like, why? Like, why? Or whatever. So she, I, I can hear her screaming like at him, like or whatever. Okay, but anyway, he hung up on me. And then next thing you know, I'm looking at like I'm hearing my phone go off, like bling bling, like all like everything is being deleted on his end, like everything is being deleted and i'm like hold on wait a minute why he deleting everything from instagram do he not know we have each other number like uh like what the fuck like you stupid like and it mm -hmm. sister your, your screenshot game gotta be on the grind damn i'm gonna tell you like this this is no word you know i like it you, i'm looking at my little sister so listen i'm gonna tell you this <laughs> sister any nigga you got your but screenshot i'm gonna say game this i'm gonna say this grind. i'm gonna say shit. he she know that he be talking to other girls though. She know that. Right, right. She, no, honest. Okay. Well, why she was screaming? What you think she was screaming for? Because she was like, I know you on the phone with that bitch. Oh, I know you on the phone with somebody. Like, damn, I'm out something, something, something. Right. Like, and he's like, I'm gonna just call you back. I'm like, why? Like, why you wanna call me back? And I'm I said, like, no, I'm put, like, I'd be like, put her on the phone. I'd be like, no, you don't call me back. Let's all stop. <laughs> <laughs> we all have to talk about. We all have to talk about this one. But anyway, okay. So, you, so yeah. So, okay. So he started the meeting. And I said about Instagram. like fifteen minutes later. I I know for a fact because those DMs was there for a very long time, like right. for a very long time. All of a sudden, he get off the phone with me. Everything is being deleted. Like on, I'm looking at it just like my phone is just going bling bling because I've seen him deleting, and I'm like, well, hmm. I, uh, but uh, anyways, but yeah, right. he so deleted it, and then I called his phone, like, I'm just waiting on, like, okay, whatever, whatever, I'm gonna wait for that call, and then I'm gonna question him, like, why did you delete everything off, um, off of Instagram? Right. <sighs> he was like, so, I'm not okay. gonna incriminate nobody, that's the whole thing, like, I, I just, this platform is just so tight. Thick. I guess I'm toxic too. Oh, so, so. I no. told him I was like crazy. Like I don't want nobody to play with my intelligence. I don't want you to just keep playing these games or whatever you think you playing. Like I don't really care if you like. Ugh, I know. Ugh, 
I know he wasn't have uh like I wasn't even worried about her. And I know that sounds so fucked up. I that is not fucking. He don't like her. He's just he uh oh okay. god. So okay, y'all got into y'all little spat over there. So then you told your friend, or who you thought was your friend. The next thing you know, you you just made the shade room. Is that the, is that kind of no? I mean, it's like <laughs> I t I told my friend, I'm like I'm hitting her up with this like oh this nigga like he's not even replying to like my um my text message. He's not even answering the phone. He's not even answering the FaceTime. And I'm like okay, so what the fuck is up? Like do like she is she telling him not to like fuck with me no more? Like I mean they uh, they. Do you, do you, let me ask you this, do you at any point in time, so, okay, did, when did she, when did she try to, did she try to contact you or herself? Yesterday. Or, oh, my God. And what was that like? What happened there? Y'all accent is very strong, especially when somebody want to yell and yeah. be all belligerent and ignorant all on the phone and shit like I, I don't even know what the fuck you saying like I honestly don't like you can just calm the fuck down right but anyways she all telling me like uh I would say that for another time cause I don't I don't I don't even really want to talk about her cause it's not even about her like I don't I understand. <laughs> oh I guess you I mean, you're right it ain't about her what's up with the um so what happened with your sister so your sister put coming into the play. When at what point in time did your sister, your sister came into play with you? Because now the because the blogs are not saying it was the sister, it was the other, it was the wrong page, and all this other stuff. My how did cousin, that my sister, everybody, everybody, everybody get a piece. How did how, just my cousin you, and my sister and her friend. Iron so. that out. Iron that out for us. What happened? How is that? What, how do they play into this? And what is it that who had access or to the page? Okay, or what happened? the page for from Instagram. I don't know if you looked at or heard the video of her saying. I'm talking about the pin message that's on Twitter, right? Mm -hmm. You hear her saying that instagram and um snapchat is the same this page literally been here for a while mm -hmm. nothing how can how can i take someone else's page or you can i can't even manipulate that you know what i'm saying okay or could you i don't know but yeah we could do anything nowadays but <laughs> and who's gonna go who's gonna go through all that for 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 this um, let me ask you this. So what is it that, so you, you I'm, I'm a, something that you stuck out to me and I really believe you when you said you was not trying to get no money, you're not trying to get no clout. I believe you when you told, you told me that on the phone, is that, is that, is an accurate depiction of how you feel? How, you know, cause some people are going to say, you know, you try to get, oh, you're trying to get clout. You're trying to get money. You're trying to get this. You're trying to get that. Have you ever asked for any money or any type of clout or anything? You have never asked for any of this, correct? No. But things was given to me, but I mean, I'm not trying to chase no fame, no clout, no. This goes longer than what everybody think. Okay. This story is longer than what everybody think for real. So, if okay. that person want to keep it real, which is his wife, or not wife, I mean, why would I say wife? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they've been engaged for 40 years. <laughs> yeah, but. So, but, but you generally, you generally cool with him. That's that's somebody you yeah. really, and this mm -hmm. all came about without you. So when Millie got the story, tell us about what happened. So because Millie, I got the Millie. Millie got the story. She didn't get the story from me. I. She okay. did not get that story from me, and she can she can vouch and say that for herself. Like she did not get the story from me at so all. Who did, who did I didn't actually... reach out to no bloggers. Okay. I didn't reach out to nobody. But once it was already out. It was mm -hmm. already out, and I just like, damn, I deleted, no, I mean, I deactivated this page. Okay. And then I was like, damn, it's just like, everybody is just keep talking about it. So I'm about to go on here and say something, because everybody is saying that I'm pregnant. Everybody's saying that I went to Miami. Everybody is saying this and saying that, which that was not accurate. Okay. So you're not pregnant. You did not go to Miami. You've never come to New Orleans. The only interaction that you've had with him is when he came. Up there. I won't say I've never been there before, but yeah. Oh, you oh you can't think about you got girl. You ain't come see me. 
You look at the one when you ain't come the empty shaking girl with a throat. What is the wrong with you? I didn't know you. <laughs> okay. Well, next time next time he flies you down here, you make sure you you make sure you come swing on me. <laughs> girl. Because I, girl, you seem like you getting drunk or something, girl. We gotta get drunk together. Ain't no wrong with you gotta go party. I'm I'm gonna show you what some real hot boys say. So anyway, I'm so look, um, <laughs> you trying to play me. I'm doing good. Doing good. So um so look. Uh so with with now so Wow, it's all I can say. So none of this has been thrust into this. What is? What do you want to come up with? What is your like? What I don't your... want nothing. I don't. I didn't. That's the thing. I didn't say nothing. I did. I would have never said anything if it wasn't out. I, I would have never said anything. Right, right. But I only. I only came out and said something because I felt like um, that um, blogger, Malago Brown, was insinuating in her YouTube video or whatever, because I was told to go look at it. Uh, he texted me to tell me, like, who is this person? Why is this person talking about me? Why is this person talking about me? So I went to go check it out for myself, and I'm like, I don't even know what is she talking about. Like, where where did she get this information from? And then I talked to her, because I reached out to her, because I wanted to know what, what was up. Right. And so she... So and, and so, I mean, no, no, the- no. Hold on. If I'm not mistaken, I'm I can't check my DMs right now. If I'm not mistaken, she reached out to me first in my DMs. I did not because I didn't even know. I just know the YouTube video that I knew where to go to. Okay. And she reached out to me through Instagram. She <laughs> left me like a voice recording message. Okay. Okay. All right, so so it, I mean, she's the blogger that broke the story. That's why. That's why I don't have a problem with her. She, when I spoke to her the first time, she was cool as hell. I wanted to give her the whole drop. I wanted yeah. to give her the whole story. I wanted to tell her everything. Well, just about what I wanted to tell her. But yeah. when I when I talked to her today, she was completely opposite of the person who I talked to. She made it seem as if I came to her incorrectly. I I. I listened to the dang on um whatever broadcast that she was on. Like I, I played it over and I'm like, I didn't even just go off on her like that. And when she was going off on me, that's when I went off on her. I really just wanted her to hear herself. But she probably gonna take this the wrong way too. She probably gonna take this around. that's just my personal feelings. She feel a certain kind of way, and I feel a certain kind of way. But all I know is the person that I spoke to yesterday that I said that I, I might or whatever is not the same person that was online on YouTube going off on me. That is not the same person. She was calm, cool, collective. We spoke. It was not no drama. But the person I spoke to today was just completely opposite. Okay. Let me ask you this. Um, right now, the floor is yours. The floor is yours. The world is watching. You hear me? You, you you admitted to your mistakes, and we respect you for that. Uh, what is it that you would like to tell? Let's say first, what would you like to tell? If you, you pretend for two seconds that I'm I'm Minnie, the, the blogger that broke the story. What would you like to tell me? If I was Minnie, what would you like to tell me about how this has affected you, your life, or anything, or or what? Or, or what? I can't I can't think like that because I I still kind of feel a certain kind of way. Like as I mean, I I can't tell you. I can't I can't tell you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So keep on moving. Let's pretend I'm super saying. What do you want to tell me? Is that something the world is there? What the world is like? I don't what really do feel like I owe her nothing okay. due to the fact that they know that they're not together. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I don't I don't I don't care what people see on social media. It's not like that in real life. It's really not. How would he have so much freedom? How would he have so much of this and so much? I don't. I don't know. Right. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I don't have nothing to say to her. Like I don't have. I don't so, owe okay. her nothing. She don't owe me nothing. Okay. So let's keep it moving. Let's pretend I'm. I'm your the your friend or alleged friends that gave the story out. You have anything to tell me as far as you being your friend? That tell that broke the, that actually. I mean, I told in. I told her that I was like mad as fuck like why would you do that like but she said 
you said you was mad. You was ready to go in. You don't remember how you was reacting. You don't remember what you was saying. I was like, I don't care. But that's at that moment, that's how I felt. If I wanted to do something, I would have did it myself. I would, I would, I would have put that story out myself. Obviously, I did not. I did not. And I, I, I wrote him and I told him I feel bad. We gonna, we gonna try to fix the story. We gonna, we gonna try to, we just gonna, we gonna try to create something like create a different narrative or something like because the story is really crazy i'm i don't uh, god and, and, and finally i'm Lou. i'm Lou. i what feel i feel extremely extremely bad regardless of what anybody else thinks i really do because i I wouldn't want to be that person that everybody else is attacking. Right. Which they can attack me. Now, I can leave at any given day, but, like, I don't know. I, I feel bad. I told him I feel bad. I told him that I can make this. Right. I, well, I'm sorry this happened to you. So, at this point in time, I would like to, uh, with your permission, turn the comments on to see if somebody is saying something or uh, that needs to be said or anything like that. Did y'all hear Girl. me? No, we heard you. What you say? Oh no, what you say? Man, man, what you say? What you say? Okay. Um I just feel really awful. Like I don't want I don't want everybody to attack him. He did not know at first that um I was 17. He did not. I know that no excuse. The fact that he no, I mean he knew not. I mean, no. I just it's really not feel more I feel more bad for him than anybody else. Right. I mean, I know that might sound wrong, but right. she's playing on social media as if she hurt. She's no, she know damn well she ain't hurt. She know that she know she know what she know. And I know she know, cause <laughs> I'll tell you more about that. I'll tell you more about that. But she okay. definitely is not hurt. If anything, she's trying to play the victim. She's trying to play the victim role. Right. Can you hear so me? I can hear you fine, sister. So listen, I just want to know. I want to know. I want to know this my personal. Oh self. shit! The comments back on. Hold on. Let me, wait a minute. No, hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, no, hold on. I asked. I asked ask you if I could turn them back on, but I could turn them off if you need me to. I I, I said at this. What you mean? Okay, wait a minute. She said I can't speak for her. I can't, but I know for a fact that she's not hurt. This is like. A gimmick, but it, I'm not gonna even go there. I thought these people was for you, but obviously they not because they trying to. Okay, whatever. It don't matter. So listen, but like I said, before, she's not like, hurt. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't believe she hurt either. I agree with you. I do. I don't believe she's hurt. I believe she's the only thing she's hurt is that that her that name it got back, it got exposed. That's about yeah, it. That her it name got back exposed. In the, and she's in my DM too, and she's in my DM too. So I mean, whatever. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Somebody said, "How long y'all?" You should never put on these comments because now I just feel like I got something to prove. Like, <laughs> so, so you don't have. No, I don't think you have nothing to prove. I don't think you have nothing. To prove. Is he gay? Who? <laughs> no, he ain't. Child. Thank the Lord, he's not. We don't want him on this side. Let him still. No, I'm reading crazy. the comments. I'm like, what? <laughs> so, <laughs> so listen. So, but no, no, no. I don't think she, I think it's, she's hurt that it okay, got out. She, yeah, that's the only thing. If she's more embarrassed than anything else. She's more, I can't, like I said, I'm not trying to speak for her, but if a person already, if if that person, if, though, if they was not, they was not in the relationship. Their relationship is just only for Instagram social media not just instagram for social media period for her um nothing listen she, i and i don't think there's nothing wrong with that i think that you had i think this is my personal opinion and correct me if i'm wrong 
But I think that you have some feelings for him. You care about him. You care about what people think about him. You care about, you know, you don't want him. Because a lot of things, if you don't mind me saying, that you, you don't want him to get in trouble for him. You, you were concerned about him, I think. Maybe not care, but you have a general concern for him. And I think that's okay if that's what you want to feel. Because nobody can tell you how to feel. So, I mean, that's just what it is. Um, of, of whatever we may think or whatever somebody may think is not important as to how you feel. But so, <clears throat> so how, you, your parents have not reacted to this yet. They don't they know. Do, they do you don't think know. Gonna, do you think they're going to find out? No, no. Mm, I don't know. I can't say yes and I can't say no. They always how, working. Right. Okay. How do you? I don't know how you how you explain this, especially to a father, because he might. Who do you think their family is gonna like? Would you, is he the dude that you go? Would you introduce? Would you introduce him to them? Like, how would you? Did you like, and, I don't, and y'all, y'all, okay, look, I don't see myself going there. Like, how it's just it's not like that. What if I just say it was just just for fun? Okay. Like me and him, we just just hanging. We were just having fun. That's that's what it was. That's I mean, cool. I. That's good. That's good. That's, I mean, if that, you, you know, you're almost grown, baby. You want to have fun? Go have fun. I can't tell you that. You got my chance. <laughs> go have fun. <laughs> go have fun. I, I have fun with you. <laughs> I turn up with you, nigga. You know. <laughs> She's lying. She sounds confused. What do I sound confused about? I mean, how can how how can I fake being on FaceTime with someone? How can I mean, just like I may not be that girl that's on that photo, but I'm definitely a girl that he likes. Okay, and he still <laughs> wanted to talk to. Like I'm not understanding how the fuck I just said that I'm not the girl that's in the photo on my profile. I'm not that person, but he saw me. I don't okay. think you. I don't think you sound confused. I think no, there's I'm part reading, of this. No, I'm just reading the comments. Like right, right. And I, I'm I'm just addressing to the comments that I don't think she's confused about that. But there's parts of the story that she told me. But this is the part of the story she didn't tell me that is not appropriate for this type of this platform right here, right now. I'll say that. So there's some of the story that she can't tell. She won't tell protecting some people that she care about. And that's what it is. I mean, I have to, um, I have to, that's, that's her, her, her right and her option to do if she wants to. So that's why I was telling you on the comments before we even do this to keep it cute because this is, the, this is what you're getting in her words directly from her. But there are parts of this that may, she may not want to share. That's her option and her right. We can't take that from her. We have to respect that. If her, and even her face. If she wants to hide her face, she's, she's 17 years old. She doesn't, her rest of her life is in front of her. This is something that's went to everywhere. There's 38, I've never seen that. There's 3,800 people in here. Let me screenshot that. There's 3,800 people in here. So who, a lot of people will see this. A lot of people will talk about this. This is something that will go on. So at the same time, I understand and respect her candor. It's not easy. She was very nervous coming here. I understand sometimes. I have done worse than her. I have catfished the ex, his girlfriend. I've told y'all about that many times. As far as what, I have done worse than what she is. To judge. So I don't even think this is a place. I don't want to have no judgment on her. And maybe parts of this is confusing to her. And that's okay for her. I'm a fan of hers. I like her. She's a very articulate. And I know she's a smart young woman. She does not sound confused. And she's in her candor. And guess what? And guess what? Sippers and Sip Nation. My real Sippers and my real Sip Nation. No, we love a shady. We love shady over here. This is just the shady palette. You heard me? So the, the fact of that is something can that we, is, is... Can we just put a comment, I mean, a pen, a comment down, like, we know that this is not Bella Page. Like, they don't seem to understand that. Like... She's like, admitted to that. She's like, admitted that this is not her... This is not the page, of course, for that. She's using somebody else's page. Excuse me, somebody else's picture. She's using... Just using videos. somebody else's picture. And yeah. Right. But at the end of the day, Luke know who I am. He's seen me. We seen each other. And that's about yeah. it. Like, yeah. Right, right. right. So, sister, I, I do... I... Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm, and I was about to address the comment, but no. Uh, address it. So, so, if you want to feel like, get it out. Get it out. Let it out. That's this with the spot. This is for you to just let it out. Yes, that picture is not me. How many times? I mean, 
they must have just been popping up in the room. They had to because you just cannot be that fucking slow. You just really cannot. Right. So I okay, but, okay, so like I wanna I say this. I wanna say this. I Talk to me. even though she probably don't like me and it's cool. If um Malago Brown feel like I came at her sideways, I do apologize. Okay. We respect that. Maybe I will let her know that I like how she's she, she's, she's probably listening. listening. She blocked me, but she probably got a burner page. She's listening. She's a <laughs> she's a fellow blogger. I appreciate it. it but actually one of my first be honest with you, I met me. Oh, they want Go ahead. <laughs> what do they want? Talk to me. They want to know about my family. Like, why? Like, the fuck? Like, is my father a judge? Yes. Mm hmm Yeah. This, is Next your question. What? I'm just looking at it like, uh, I'm not about to answer that question. I don't know. I mean, is the conversation over? I mean... Um, it's, 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 you know, I was about to thank you for coming and explaining your side of the story. If you want to, I'm going to just, um, kind of wrap it up, give my little final thoughts about the whole situation. And then if you want, could you just call me so we could just, and you, you have my number. You can call me if you want and just talk or whatever. You, if you ever get in a situation where you don't understand, I'm here for you. I appreciate you coming and telling your side of the story. Right. So I was thanking, I was thanking you on behalf of myself and my, and my siblings and siblings. So we appreciate you for coming, telling your side of the story. I was here, but... I got through. You did. You did wonderful. You have a career. If head on work, sister, look into broadcasting or mass communications because you have a good voice um, and you enunciate your words pretty good. I, I, I mean, I like it. So look into that too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a little wrap up. And if you get a chance, give me a ring later on. Just calm down, cool, be cool, calm and collected, and, and, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay, what's going on, OG Newman girl, sister? Sister, I listen. We're doing a, uh, a shakedown in Atlanta next month. I want to see you there, sister. And that's not a and sister. That's not even a um. That's not a request, sister. That's a that's a that's an OG call. Okay, so so I'm. You know what? I was about to go and say exactly my thoughts about this, but I'm going to reserve my thoughts. Until a later time, I'm gonna quote and keep them up. But I want y'all, y'all heard the story from her mouth alone. Um, she admitted to how old she was, she admitted to catfishing, she admitted this to him, and he still went see her. Um, they developed some type of bond or friendship or whatever the case may be. Um, the girlfriend super tried to cover it up. I mean, you have heard her words from her saying that. And you can really make your own decision. There's not really much I can say about that. You're entitled to your opinion. I can't, I can't forge your opinion about how y'all want to look at it or however however y'all want to see, however y'all want to think about it, whether the sister going around saying she's 22 now and all this. It's a lot of mess. It's a lot of go the bum, but somebody here is the victim. And I tend to believe it's the girl that we just got the phone with. Whether she's the victim, per se, by the retribution of some of, of her friends, and her alleged friends and family that's taking advantage of her and leaking the story to the press, or if it's the taking advantage of Alu, or just the monstrosity of Super, if somebody's taking advantage, or a combination of all three is taking advantage of this child. And so that's, she's the victim in all this, and I want us to be mindful of that when we make and forge our own opinions about stuff like this. You hear me? So that's just my thing. Her story don't match the block. I mean, I mean, I mean, well, let's invite Tina Shade since this is here, our, um, our good sister. And she's a blogger on this page and a blogger um, all over. What's going on, sister? What you got going on? Hey, I was worried about you. Um, you know, you know, girl. It's it's just it's just it's just a lot of stuff going on at one time. But I had to come and make a special guest appearance for this one topic. What is it? So, did you you got a chance to listen to um the 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 the, the story or whatever? I missed most of it because I was back and forth because I was talking to believe it or not. I was talking to the Bella London girl on Twitter. Okay. While you was talking to this young lady. Gotcha. 
Gotcha. So that's why you probably gonna see in the inbox I sent you some stuff. I was talking to the Bella London girl. She's a real pretty girl too. I was talking to her. She apparently from LA. Mm -hmm. I was talking to her on Twitter, so I didn't catch most of that. That's why I was like, let me get caught up. Right. So um basically the young lady is 17. She was admit she admitted the fact that to Lou that she was 17 and that wasn't her picture. She admitted that fact to him. Um, okay. Allegedly, he went to Ohio to see her anyway. And... Wow. And she allegedly came to New Orleans as well to see him. Um, allegedly, they had a spat when uh, Supercent kind of found out or got wind of it. Uh, he started deleting stuff off of Instagram. Uh, she got mad, told her friends. Her friends leaked it to the blogs. The blogs talked all about it. Um, and then it just became a clusterfuck after that. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like how all this culminated in, in in such a way. So that's what the story is being told at this point. So I feel bad for her because she's seventeen, so she's a child, and she doesn't she hasn't lived as long as he has. You know what I mean? Adults and being in the adult situation. So he took advantage of her. He took advantage of her vulnerability. He took advantage of her being naive. And I feel bad for her. That's disgusting. That's very disgusting. So this is what I'm saying. If at any point in time, see, this is what I, this is what I, I the, we've seen them in the blogs. So this is what makes me think her story is marginally believable because I've seen in the blogs where he's asking her about breaking her virginity. When did her virginity get broken? Oh my and, goodness. Why would you ask her? Why would you ask somebody that if she told you she was 17 at any point in time, even if she come back and say, look, I'm 22, or I'm 18, or I'm 93. But once she told you was 17 at any point in time, the conversation Cut all been, communication. Cut all communication. Oh, for real? Oh, well, look, let me go, let me holler at your old, let me holler at your oldest sister and click it's open with. So this, right. so this door was opened up, whether she's lying, not telling the truth, this door is opened up by him at any given point. If, if the word 17 ever comes across the screen, you're supposed to cut ties, all communication at that point. Cut all communication immediately. Right. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. It's just so much. It's so much in this story. So much in this situation. It's just a, a mess. I and I really feel like this girl. But I think she. This is what I think. She doesn't want him to get in trouble because I believe she cares about him. I think she cares about him. So I don't know. She cares about him. The situation is offending her, and, and uh, her, her. I believe that. Wow, so she so she actually got feelings for him. I believe so. Wow. I, 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 wow. At least concern. I, I wouldn't say, I don't know if it's love or anything like that. Might be a little puppy love or something. But she has some general concern about it. So at this point, were they trying to cut her check? <laughs> Apparently not. But I was warned her about that because the last girl to cut a check, so she didn't get all her money. So I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't know if that's a smart thing to do. Look, I need my fan allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Okay. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. The last girl that cut a check, so they ain't get all the money. So I don't know. So I hope they're not. I hope she's not going to take them check from them. You got to, <laughs> sister, you got to wait till that thing clear your bank. You got to wait. <laughs> get a check hold and everything. That's one of them. Okay. <laughs> that's one of them checks that. Shot and shaky right now. <laughs> that's not a check you want to necessarily just bank on. You hear me? So, bank. Oh, child. That, that whole situation is a mess over there. Like, why is she trying to hold on to this boy? Like, she's supposed to be this big plate, uh, palette mogul. Like, why is she trying to hold on to this boy anyway? I mean, to each his own, to each his own, but <laughs> this ain't the first time. Ain't this the 495,000th time? I'm saying it's, 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 it's just too much. It's just too much. I can't think of it. I'm so sick of it. I'm just, I am so sick of it and all the bullshit with this woman. It's just like, how do you ever, how do every day you come up with something and tomorrow you're going to forget and then Wednesday going to be a sale? I just want to know. What she, what she, I, I, I don't know. Somebody said, "What's she about to drop some blush or something? What is she about to? Something about to. What's really about to happen? I know for, for I know for certain. I ain't no mammy motherfucking fool. But I bet you a million dollars she about to drop a blush, 
a some type of padding or some shit, and bitch, the promo code, bitch, about to come. I just feel that in my bones. And I feel it in my bones. She's about to that is going to be a super sale. It's about to be a super sale. I just, <laughs> I just, I just really feel that's coming. You heard me? I really, what's going on? Some, what's going on? T I N S C G in here? Something like that. You heard me? I just really feel it. So yeah, it's just, um, that's just basically what happened. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out for. I will check that out. You heard me? Y'all make sure. Well, sure, I was gonna tell them to go follow you. Everybody already followed you already. <laughs> go, y'all make sure you're gonna follow me. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate all my new followers. Thank you y'all. You hear me? So, um, definitely, definitely. They miss you on, they miss you on uh, YouTube. I've I, been hearing. I'm coming back. I'm coming back with this move and just with a lot of stuff going on, like all my YouTube stuff and equipment and stuff that I had, my green screen and all that stuff. That computer and stuff is all packed up. And so, um, <laughs> I'm waiting to close, I'm waiting on my closing documents right now. And so soon as I get them in, so hopefully by the beginning of the month, toward the middle of the month, I can come back full force like I was because I'll be in my own house that I am purchasing with my mortgage. So I know that's right. Yeah. So <laughs> Oh, let me manifest it because yeah. I'm tired of this little apartment. <laughs> okay. Yeah, girl. I, just I mean, I got me a nice little apartment, but right. I need my house. Right, 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 right. So, all right. I appreciate you for stopping by. So, so let me go ahead and wrap this up. Yeah, I love right, you. Baby, love you. <laughs> I see you, cuz. My cousin here. Everybody here. Y'all up in here trying to get this tea. I see my little cousin in here. <laughs> Chuck Moolah. That's my real life cousin, blood cousin. Y'all know that. A lot of people don't know. Look at Pooh What you up in here for, girl? So listen, the, this is my little final thought about the situation. I'm going to let y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shaky. Hey, Chipper. Let on? me get into this. I know these little young hoes, once they get that dick, they ain't <laughs> young no more. Bitch, you taking more dick than some of these old motherfuckers. And for that motherfucker to be on here and don't want to tell her shit, you could tell the way she was talking by you asking her questions. I really believe that little girl is young. He took that pussy, Lou got the pussy from her, and now she wants the dick all the time. And I really believe Super and Lou she got to be fucking crazy if she motherfucking think that Lou was just on this big uh, vacation with Super and Super was live and Lou said he wanted to fuck in her ass. Come on now. You think they ain't fucking? That's when these little young hoes, these older men be telling them any motherfucking thing and they fall for it, baby. How I know I got a fucking 17-year-old a 21-year-old, and my 17-year-old was trying to do the same motherfucking shit, playing with these old motherfucking men until they get their little motherfucking feelings hurt. All them niggas take that pussy and fuck them real hard in the in their, their little pussy. Then they be fucked up about it. And second of all, that bitch super using this, and now she trying to play the victim. Bitch, I don't feel sorry for you. Bitch, he did it once. And your big tall six foot ass looking <laughs> back, you big nose, long neck bitch. Second of all, I don't feel sorry for you, bitch. And you using it to make a motherfucking sale, bitch, because you about to drop your makeup salad, bitch. You know that's why you fucking doing all that. I give 10 motherfuckers about our fucking feelings, and I don't care. We all have been through a motherfucking relationship with niggas that won't dog it out and motherfucking act like. You know they love you and they're there for your bitch, but sometimes in life you gotta fucking grow up, big dummy. You big stupid silly million gazillionaire bitch. I don't give a fuck about her feelings. I don't give ten motherfuckers about nothing they got going on. Lou got the motherfucking pussy. Your pussy wasn't good enough, bitch. The surgery did not hover your pussy good enough, bitch. The doctor ain't do a good job, ho. Bitch, she should have tightened that motherfucking big Waco ass pussy up, bitch. Oops. And yeah, money bag, who ready said that, bitch? Come and look me up, ho. Because this ain't what none of you dumb motherfucking bitches that come up on some money app over there, bitch. I am tired of it. I'm tired of her with this motherfucking Chinese shit she selling, bitch. It's through the corona, bitch. I'm sick of it. All you bitches be looking like clowns, bitch. Get mad or oh something, bitch. God. You bitches be looking tore up, and I'm fucking sick of it, bitch. He gave your motherfucking palace to this young old bitch. And she was Not fucking and sucking. What Tino said is she's fucking and sucking and ducking and licking and clucking or something like that. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you, super. 
fuck your feelings and fuck your big neck and your motherfucking big tweaky size nose, bitch. I don't care. And I don't give a fuck who send it to her and say,